All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I am Sean Barr, and today we are talking out of band management. Everything from console ports to CMIC. Let's go! All right, welcome back, and we are talking out of band management. So, if you're managing network infrastructure, it is really, or any infrastructure for that matter, out of band management may be key to saving you from a driving down to the data center at two in the morning to fix a server or a network device, or maybe it's not even drivable. Maybe you'd have to get on a plane or call somebody, wake them up, and drive them in. Either way, out of band management can be a lifesaver. So what is out of band management? It's almost exactly what it sounds like. So in band management would be going to the IP address of a device, maybe through SSH, HTTPS, uh, web browser, SSH, Telnet, all of those in band pro uh, RDP to a server. Um, those are all forms of in band management where you're going to the IP of the actual device. Out of band management for a networking device would be through a console port. And in order to do that, to get uh, access to a console port over a network, you would need a console server. So there's no, a number of uh, console servers out there. One popular one is a Cyclade console server, uh, where you would take your critical core infrastructure components and plug those into a console server. And maybe you'll have an extra internet connection, or some of them even have LTE options where you could have a mobile device um, and, and through wireless be able to connect into a device, uh, a router, a switch, a firewall uh, to make changes. And a good example would be if you're connected remotely to a firewall and maybe you don't allow management in band management through the IP, the public IP, maybe you don't allow uh, management to that public IP address. So uh, you're making some firewall changes and you lock yourself out. Well, how do you get back in without somebody being on site? Out of band management or a console server could help you in that scenario. And especially if it had some out of band access to that console server, meaning another internet connection, maybe an MPLS connection, or like we mentioned, LTE. With servers, there's also out-of-band management with those. With Cisco, there's their CMIC, and with Dell, it's they've got their DRAC, and with HP, they've got their ILO. And so those are all out-of-band management of the server. And so what those can do is they'll plug into a separate Ethernet connection outside of the server. So if it dies, you can get what's considered KVM, which is keyboard, video, and mouse remotely. And it gives you that same experience as if you're sitting in front of the server um, with a keyboard, a video display, a, a, a monitor, and a mouse. So you can remotely manage that server even if it's down or watch it boot up, things like that um, with those out of band management tools. So to recap on this, if you've got servers sitting in a remote location or any location, uh, you should really consider leveraging their out-of-band management and using an out-of-band management network and maybe having a couple of ways to get access to that out-of-band management network. If you've got critical network infrastructure, getting a console server, there's Cyclade, there's a number of others. You plug in the consoles into the, you plug the console server into the console port of each of those critical infrastructure devices. Make sure you've got multiple ways to get to that console server, whether it's LTE, a secondary internet connection, an MPLS connection. And if you have those issues at night, uh, you've got a way to get in and not wake up, drive to the office, or even worse, call somebody in a remote location and get them to drive to the data center. That could be brutal. So we covered out-of-band management, we covered console servers, we covered ILO, CMAC, MIC, DRAC, we covered a lot. If there's anything I said in this video that you want to know more, make sure you leave a comment. If you liked it, like, subscribe. If there's something you want us to do, we'll do it. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.